In this video, we'll give you an introduction to the support settings in ChutuBox. If you want to add or edit support structures in ChutuBox, you can click the support settings tab to enter the support editing mode. The first setting you will see is the Z lift height. When you enter the support editing mode, the software will raise the model a bit from the ground. This option determines how much the model will be raised. The reason why we set a lift height is to try to prevent the model from touching the platform, so the bottom few layers of the model won't get over cured. And also this can avoid the overhangs around the lowest surfaces will get too low to be supported. Below the lift height setting is the support setting where you can configure the size and form of your support structures. You can decide how thick your support is. For example, you can choose to add a light, medium, or heavy support. One thing you may want to know is that lighter supports is more possible to get broken, and thicker supports may be harder to remove. So you should choose the right settings according to your requirements. You can also change the settings for different parts of your supports, such as top, middle, bottom, or raft. We will talk more about this in the tutorial video for each part. Below is the auto manual support settings. Here you can change the settings for cross structure and density and max tilting angle for the auto supports. We will talk more about these settings in the auto manual support video. Next is the auto support adding feature. That is the add platform and add all buttons. This will instruct the software to judge where on your models need support and then add support structures to all those places. If you click the Add Platform button, all the support structures will start only from the grid platform. And if you click Add All, there can be some additional supports, starting from the model itself. Below those two buttons, on the left side, is an eye icon. Clicking it will hide or show all your support structures. Next to this icon are the Add, Delete, Edit support buttons. If you click the Add Support button, you can add supports manually. If you click Delete Support, you can click to select a support and press the Delete key on your keyboard to delete it. If you click the Edit Support button, you can select a support and then drag it to change its position or adjust its settings. We will talk more about this in the Add, Delete, Edit Support video. Finally, the Remove All button at the bottom can remove all your support structures in one click.